Hi guys, my name is Alistair Taylor, I'm the Head Teaching Professional here at the PJ Golf Academy at Herring Beach in Blackpool. Today we're going to look at the brand new tailor-made Slider S driver. So a little bit in between slider and jet speed in the respect that we've still got the sliding weight underneath but we've got no adjustability on the heel of the club. So the club base is going to be nice and square every time. So I've got 12 degree stiff shaft, so we're definitely going for the loft up approach here. We're going to hit five shots on flight scope, give you some feedback, let you make up your own minds whether you think this is something that you'd be interested in trying. So, like normal SLDR, looks great, slightly lighter colour of head. It's the same shaft, 57 grams. Here we go. So again, being 12 degrees, a high flight, but very, very flat, so it doesn't look like it spins too much. And you can definitely see the benefits with this particular club of adding loft. Nice low spin, higher loft, more carry and roll. So again, number two. Right, but very straight still. And if you want to compare this with some of the other drivers that Taylor made or the other manufacturers do, we have done an SLDR video and we have done a jet speed video. You can check those out on the Herring's Beach PGA YouTube channel. And again, very, very straight. So last couple of shots, try and get a little bit more club head speed if we can out of these last two. See if we can squeeze every last yard out of these. A little bit off the toe and a bit high. But again, very, very straight. Final shot. So much as you'd expect, having tested SLDR myself, feels very, very similar. Um, personally, I like the fact that for some guys you can't adjust because when you change loft, it does affect club face position. So there can be negatives with the other SLDR. But for you guys who don't need the help with changing face position, this is definitely a good option. Let's look at the numbers on their flight scope and see how that stacks up. Okay guys, so we can see the slider S 228 yard carry, 248 yards total. Club head speed probably down a little bit from normal and not struck right out the middle of the club. But good launch angle for me of 11 and a half degrees. Maybe just spinning a little bit too much at 3,100 and overall 90 foot from the floor. So good height for me, good launch, maybe spinning just a little bit too much with this particular loft and model. But a really good driver, well worth a try for some of you guys. Okay guys, so having looked at the numbers on flight scope, we can see probably not the longest driver I've hit, but probably for me, 12 stiff isn't the ideal setup. Really, really good option, and TaylorMade has really got all the bases covered now with SLDR, SLDRS, and jet speed. And for any of you guys that are still interested in the white heads, they've now got SLDR in white, but certainly worth a try. You know, I think some of the guys, particularly with up to 16 degrees of loft, this will really suit a lot of golfers out there. If you want to come down for a fitting at Herring's Reach, give me a call 01253 832505 or visit the website herringsreachgolf.co.uk. I've been Alistair Taylor here at the PJ Golf Academy at Herring's Reach in Blackpool. Stay in contact.